ask up again. Do you have any reaction to the Christopher Lane case? Uh, I'm not familiar with it, actually. In uh, Oklahoma, this 22-year-old uh, Australian, mm -hmm. 22 or 23, I've seen different reports, um, a baseball player came from Australia, was targeted apparently by three African-American young men um, who the Australian was out on a jog, um, and these young men apparently told the police um, they were bored and they thought it would just be fun to kill him. Yeah. Any reaction to that? Well, just that this sounds like a pretty tragic uh, case. I wouldn't want to get ahead of the, of, the, of the legal process here, and it's clear that law enforcement officials are involved and are investigating. Um, but, you know, these, you know, any act of violence is something that, um, uh, you know, the President, I think, himself has spoken pretty eloquently about violence in our communities, and he stood at this podium a few weeks ago where he talked about his concern about the impact that violence is having uh, on, in particular, young people uh, in this country. Yeah, we heard and Trayvon Martin here and in the Rose Garden. Why hasn't he spoken out on this in this case? Well, there was a judicial proceeding. There was one in the Trayvon Martin case. He spoke out extensively on that one. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm not sure that there are some people in this room I don't think who would agree with you that the president spoke out extensively on it. I think that he answered it. He was in the Rose Garden? Yeah, he, he spoke got, on it. And he got, got asked a question. He got asked yeah. a question about it. And he didn't have to answer, but he, yes. but he did. And, and then, then he came out here himself. At the conclusion of the legal process. Sure. And, and shared some thoughts. For several minutes. Sure. That are, I think, um, where he expressed his concerns about um, the impact of violence in communities all across the country. And he talked about the number of things that. Um, that the government can do, but also a number of things that we can do in our communities, whether it's uh, parents, uh, churches, uh, and communities can do to try to address uh, the impact of violence and whether there's more that we can do to try to protect uh, our children.